Oh, we got a way station. Where do we? Woo, you got the light. green light. Yes. Dang. Look at all these poor souls. Aww. What is up guys, Dave and Billy Joe back again for another trucking vlog and we are in Michigan right now, um, about 11 miles from our Taylor, Michigan terminal and we caught some traffic and uh, this is the first time I've actually ever been to the Taylor, Michigan terminal. I think it's the only CFI terminal I have not been to. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to go here, see what it's all about. Detroit Metropolitan Airport. So we're actually in Detroit, which is where this uh, Taylor Terminal basically is. If you could fly anywhere right now, where would you go? Japan. Where would you go? Um, somewhere warm, probably. Japan? Yeah, Japan. <laughs> Let's go to Japan. Where? I would go to like Puerto Rico or somewhere. Okay. Uh, fix your roads, Detroit. What is this? This is terrible. Pop just checking out the bushes. I guess he was just checking out the bushes. There's something suspicious over there. <laughs> All right, how far are we? 1.3 miles from the terminal. Oh, slam on them brakes then, Billy Joe. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> That'd be all right. <laughs> oh, oh God, God, bless this road. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, y'all don't even know how bumpy this road is. <laughs> Actually, you can probably tell from how steady I am with the camera. Oh, I see the CFI sign. There it is. I now say I've been to all CFI terminals. That's not us. Truck entrance. Truck entrance, yeah. Pretty standard. I'm assuming we're going to have to use the badge to get in unless... Oh, yeah, it's open. Easy. Oh, do not. I think you gotta go. Uh, They're both open. Yeah. That looks like the exit, though. And this is the entrance. Sweet. Quite a few CFI trucks here. Nice. So this is where you'll be a lot if you do Canada for CFI, because we do a lot of uh, Canadian loads. And if you're bringing loads back and whatnot, or they're getting dropped here to go across the border, this is where they would go. It's probably they usually have little signs. You see these little signs here? Oh, yeah. One of those signs is going to say empties uh, for most terminals. It'll say loaded or empty. Let's see, that says trailer clean out area, so that's not it. say man it's a lot of room here though you can straight back every spot long-term tractor parking that's over there long-term tractor parking Everything else has it signs. looks like you can do anywhere then yeah there's no other signs so yeah just drop it I guess I guess they don't really distinguish here I didn't see nothing else so Yeah, this yard is nice, man. Look, it's huge. Like you can pretty much straight back every single back here. Doesn't get much easier than that.
so we were dropping that trailer and we were picking up this one right over here. Nice. We need to do laundry. We have actually been needing to do it for like a week now. So we were hoping they had facilities here and they have pretty much everything. So yeah, even ATM. Coffee you can make. Ooh, got a whole thing of Maxwell House. Okay. Okay, Taylor. <laughs> The camera. <laughs> I was just filming us walking out. All right, guys, so that was the Taylor Terminal. They got some laundry facilities for us. We definitely got to do laundry today. Nice terminal, though. Yeah. Really is. They had everything free? back there. Yeah, laundry's, you got, laundry's pretty much free at all the terminals. And a lot of times they have a detergent in there for us to use, too. All right, guys, so check this out. Billy Joe and I just went to Dollar General and got a bunch of stuff, right? And we wanted to get a football because we were thinking about throwing the football together, right? Just like, you know, if we're stopped at a truck stop or something, throw the ball. Maybe some other truck drivers come by and it's like, hey, you know, throw it to me, you know? I don't know, it'd be something fun to do out here, get some fresh air, go throw a football. Well, they don't have any bicycle pumps at Dollar General, you know? So I'm like, what can you do? So I Google how to fill up a football without a needle, you know, and a pump, and uh, come to find out, you can actually use air duster and these little things here to fill up the football. So I figured I would show y'all because I, I was like, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but they say these little straws will actually fit into the hole there. As you can see right now, it's super, super flat. You know, it's definitely not aired up. So it actually goes in there perfectly. Oh my God, it's working. What? It's almost there, it just needs a little bit more. I'm gonna open this for better lighting. It's much better now. Just gotta keep going a little bit. Well, I see Look at that. a nice grassy area over there. We can go throw it. Heck yeah, let's do it. Set up the camera. Yeah. Get us throwing some. Gotta love the life hacks. Yep. This dude just drug his trailer across something. Guys, he's coming this way, so he went to this, that guy. Right. Damn. Yeah, I was just, I was, but it sucks. It really sucks. But yeah. I was glad it wasn't another truck, at least. Yeah. Hope you guys could see uh, what I was filming there. But I was talking to a couple of the guys over there. And uh, yeah, everybody in the truck stop heard it. So everybody's out here looking and uh, checking it out. But damn, that sucks. He's got to make that call of shame, Billy Joe. Yeah, I got to go look. <laughs> then me too.
Right, guys so we are now about to uh, get some fuel at this loves here we just traveled from uh, where we were in green up illinois to uh, almost indianapolis where we have a delivery at a uh is it a chewy plant it is. yeah it's a big uh, distribution center pet food for chewy and uh yeah we're about to get some fuel and then head right down the road to our uh delivery then after that we're headed to Massachusetts. Remember when we were in Pittsburgh and we said, I've never been to Boston. And I said, I've never been to Massachusetts. And we said Tim was gonna tapity tap tap on his keyboard and yeah, they sent us to Massachusetts. How did we know, Billy Joe? Right, we're just all about that Northeast life right now. <laughs> Holy crap, oh, I thought this was the Fuel Island line. I was like, no, there's a guy backing though. Okay, yeah, the yeah. green truck is backing. He was just sitting there for a second. I yeah. wasn't sure what he was doing. Take a little ride out of this loves here. Could be home every night. Love and life in a warehouse. <laughs> Sounds pretty legit for a warehouse, though. For Indiana, yeah. Yeah. Ain't like the cost of living's that high here. What do they gotta do here? Jeez. Okay, so those are all standbys, and that, so yep. that company says Chewy. What does it say? Oh, that does say Chewy, doesn't it? This says DHL. Yeah, this isn't it. That's twenty four hundred. Okay, that's twenty one hundred. That's chewy there. I know, but this just ended there. Is this just corporate offices? This is it. I wonder where the uh, receiving office is. Um, you never know, guys, where the receiving office is. Y'all know this from my videos. It's got a fire hose valve on that door. So I don't think we want to go in there. Might be here. I see some stairs right here. Let's see. And most of the cars are right here. No, that says firehouse valve also. Fire hose valve. Firehouse valve. I misspoke. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Maybe where this day cab is sitting? Yeah, because he's probably checking in, so most likely that's it. Another stairs there. Fire hose valve. How many fire hose valves do they need? <laughs> and what's behind those doors? <laughs> I don't know. There's no office here. Oh, yeah, behind him, I think there's a yard jockey truck. I think that is the check in. Let's see. Yeah. Now it says fire hose valve, but there's another sign on it that might say receiving. But I can't read it because the yard jockey's in the way. Alright go guys, we're going to check in and be right back. Alright guys, so that door there had a sign that said for FedEx drivers only and for others to use a door on the other side of the building. So we got to wrap around here, go to a different uh, receiving office. Alright, here's the other end of the building. This looks right. There should be a little shipping office. This is three W's, so that's six W. Probably all the way down. Probably, most likely. And now I'm probably gonna have to do a U turn to park this thing. There's a stairs here. I'm not quite sure what it is, but let's see. Uh, Five. Fire hose valve. <laughs> <laughs> it's house valve. Yes, fire house valve. 
three W. That's it. That's where we go. It's also a firehouse valve. All right, guys. So we got the doors open now, and uh, we're going into spot 365, right up there. Um, I'll show you here. She's gonna back up so then she can get closer to this row here and be able to turn up because she's going next to that USA truck trailer right there. That's where she's going. So she was a little too far up. If she would have came over, she would have been a little jacked up. But plenty of room up here to turn up and everything. So shouldn't be too bad. Um, but here she comes. For those of you new guys that are just starting out, uh, one thing that I learned and that she does as well is start your turn up whenever the drive tires get to the spot. So when you pass up the spot a little bit and the drive tires hit it, and then you go straight up and then 90 and then bam. Usually your trailer will line up pretty good with the spot. And I've noticed Billy Joe does about the same thing. come look with you <laughs> and chalk the wheels for you oh that looks perfect actually i don't know i think it is it yep is. it'll go in easy easy peasy you know what's funny is every time i do this i always leave a little room between the chalk but people always comment on my videos and say Never put the chalk all the way against the wheels, always leave a gap, because you can't tell from the angle that I'm filming that there is a gap. <laughs> all right, guys, we're good to go. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. There is a link down in the description and in the comments if you'd like to join CFI. Go to that link, it'll take you to the Riding With Dave landing page, and you can sign up to start your trucking career, or if you're experienced, to come on over to CFI. Meet me and Billy Joe at a terminal, and yeah. We'll catch y'all on the next one.
Peace. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.